In this video, I'll be breaking down how to make dark samples for artists like Future or Roddy Rich. So first out I started off with was this company preset from Max Shooter and Keon's Analog Tools 3 kit. And I was just messing around on my keyboard until I came up with this pattern. And this is what that sounds like. Super basic, but I love how it sounded. And the only effect I added to this was a EQ to cut out the lows. And then I just had a part where I pitched it down an octave and this is what that sounds like. Then the next sound is once again from Max Shooter and Keon's kit. It's called the Sona preset and it's playing the same notes. I just copy and pasted it over and this is just what this sounds like. just to add a bit more texture and more depth to the sample. And once again, for the effects, I just added an EQ. And while I was making the sample, I put the acapella to All Good by Roddy Rich and Future in the background with just some basic drums, just to give me an idea of how much space to leave and if it's full enough or not, which is a tip for you guys to use when you create samples or beats. Use acapellas to give you an idea of how much space to leave or what else to add. And then honestly, I didn't think I'd wanted to add too much more. So I kind of wanted to add like a brass instrument just to kind of have like another part so it's not just a four, four bar loop. So I came into Analog Lab and I found the Atlanta preset, very fitting, by All You Need Sounds and I just played these notes. And I knew I wanted the root notes to be ascending, that a bit of like triumph, I guess you could say. I'm not too sure the right word, but something along the lines of that, as if it's building up to something. And then I had another part where I just duplicated the middle notes up an octave, and this is what that part sounds like. As I said before, just so it sounds like it's building up to something. And for the effects on that, I just added a RC20 with, I think, just a regular preset, but I just turned down the noise. Then I routed everything onto one mixer track. I added a effect track, the basic vintage punch preset, and then just a sound shifter to pitch it down to. And this is what the final sample sounds like. And I just wanted to keep it super simple, leave so much room for the artist. And when I was listening to it with the acapella, it just sounded very fitting and I didn't think I needed anything else. So simplicity is key. But that's pretty much it for the video. I know it's super short, super quick, nothing too crazy. Follow me on Instagram at Louis Oblin. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what type of videos you guys are trying to see. And now I'm just going to play the beat with the Roddy Rich acapella and just some basic drums. Peace. Started off last week, it was all good. Watching Russell, LeBron James, all